Welcome to Taisho's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you everything about these kotatsu. Unless you're into Japanese culture, or even if you were in Japanese culture, you probably have never heard of or seen these kotatsu. And some anime is portrayed, but not often, because it's only a winter thing. Nonetheless, this is just a really great invention. So as much as I know, kotatsu exists only in Japan. This is something many traditional Japanese houses have as a very efficient heating furniture. Because unlike many Western countries, Japanese houses don't have central heating system. Probably because one, Japan is quite mild. We only need heating only for a couple months in the year. And it's just a waste to have this whole system for it. And heating up all the rooms that you don't really need is also a waste. And so we're just not used to that. Especially having this kotatsu, you don't need that at all. You just need to heat up this small space and you don't need to heat up the whole house or you don't even need to heat up this room. You can have this cold room, but because you're warmed up from the bottom with minimal heating, still it's very comfortable. The biggest danger is that it's very hard to get out because it's so comfy, you can spend the whole day here. Many modern houses probably nowadays don't have these, but still it's part of our tradition. And so I thought it might be interesting to show you this unique furniture. Then let's get started. So if you have already seen the video of Japanese house, you might have seen this room. This type of room with tatami is called washitsu. This is the same room where I showed to lay out the futon mattress. But of course in that video we didn't have this because I made that video in the summer. Usually these tables are put away during the summer. But some homes, they use this table without these blankets and then they use it just as a regular table. So for kotatsu, there are two variations. One is just regular flat kotatsu where you can put on any floor. And second is what I have here, so-called hori kotatsu, meaning sunken kotatsu. Where here, you can put your legs under it and you can just sit like this. If you have a flat kotatsu, often they have this leaning chair looking like this because it's not comfortable just sitting upright like this and something to just lean on. For the regular flat kotatsu, you have the heating system on the underside of the table and hori kotatsu usually have a heating system on the bottom, on the floor. In our case, it's kind of like a modern variation where you have kind of heating mattress or heating blanket. And so it's also space efficient. Like I said, during the off season for the kotatsu, like spring, summer, and autumn, and these are put out. So I'm going to show you this clip for how I built this kotatsu. Here, take this out. And then the hole, so we take this out. Terrible fit inside right here. And then here are the covers. And then this is the heater. Let's open it up. Here's the electricity inlet. It's 
So then let's get into a little bit of history of this Kotatsu. So the origin of Kotatsu goes quite way back in the 1300s in the Muromachi era where people had Anka, small charcoal stone, and people just kind of gathered around it. And then during the Edo era, people had an idea of putting table over so-called Irori or Japanese-style fire pit and then put a cover over it. And then so they started having this system. And actually quite interestingly, this Mori Gotatsu was invented by a British person. After the Meiji era where the Westerners started coming to Japan and they thought this Kotatsu was great. But for Westerners, it was quite uncomfortable to sit seiza or cross-legged. So this British art teacher dug a hole under it and then started putting the legs in it. So thanks to him, we have this Mori Gotatsu. And this idea of Mori Gotatsu kind of was also incorporated in some restaurants. There are some restaurants where they have these really kotatsu and so it's a really comfy, homey feel to it. There are also many izakaya where they have this style of sitting hori zaseki without these comforts over it. And so it's just really comfy like this with a table and still have this Japanese feel. And so that's the evolution of kotatsu and a little more modern variation to it. And so if you ever come to Japan in winter, uh, you can definitely try these kind of restaurants and see how comfy it is. And with that, this is the end of this video. I hope you learned something new about the Japanese culture. And if you enjoyed it, love me if you get the like button for me. And if you have any feedback, any questions or requests, please feel free to write anything in the comments below. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.